Subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for the latest updated videos. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel Query Solution. So today to continue our discussion on the series of blood group questions, we are going to take up another example where we are going to study a case where father belongs to blood group B and the mother belongs to blood group AB. So in such a condition, what are the possibilities we are going to get in the case of children? So even if you want to know all this into detail, do watch my video completely. And for now, let us start off with a video. children so again in this condition or to solve such questions as I again and I'm repetitively speaking we have to first of all figure out that what is the genetic condition of the father and the mother of course with respect to the blood group that they can have right so we do know that if a person belongs to blood group B there are two types of genetic condition a person can have and we have to consider both the conditions equally so what is the first genetic condition a person can have? That the person can have a homozygous condition which is IBIB or the person can have a heterozygous condition also which is IB and I. What about the mother? So in the case of person belonging to or people belonging to blood group AB, there is only one genetic condition as we know. And what is that condition I am talking about? So the condition is a co-dominant condition and the only condition which is IA and IB only. There is no other possibility of genetic condition a person who has blood group AB can have. So as we know now whenever we talk about possibilities in the case of children we have to solve such questions on the basis of some cases that if this is the condition in father and if fuses this with the mother what possibilities we are going to get and if this is the condition which is fusing what possibility we are going to get so on the basis of the same now we are going to solve these questions on the basis of our cases so let us take our case one where we are taking the first condition where father is belonging to the homozygous condition so what is the case one father has blood group b mother has blood group ab what is the genetic condition the father is having? So the father is having a condition of IB and IB. And what is the genetic condition the mother is going to have? So definitely it is going to have IB and IA and IB. Now let us see what possibilities of blood group we are going to get in the case of children if we are talking about such a cross. So we do know that whenever there is fusion of LL happening, there will be one LL from the father which is going to fuse with one LL of the mother. So if this LL fuses with this one, what is the combination we are getting? We are getting a combination of IB and A. What blood group is this going to express us? So this is going to express us only one blood group which is AB into picture. So this is going to give us a blood group which is AB. Let us see some other possibilities too. So if this LL of the father fuses with this LL of the mother, the combination we are getting is IB and IB. And I think many of you now can tell very quickly this is going to express as a blood group which is blood group B. Let us see more one. So if this LL fuses with this one, what is the combination? The combination is going to be IB and IA again. And this is again going to express as a condition which is AB. And lastly again, if this LL fuses with this one, the combination we are going to get is IB and IB. And this is again going to express us a blood group which is B. So what is your inference out of case 1 that you can see? So in case 1, what is the idea we are getting? That if a father which is having blood group B marries a woman having blood group AB and have children in the equal ratio of AB and B, what idea does this gives you that the father who has the blood group B belongs to which condition? It belongs to the homozygous condition because in this condition only we are going to see the percentage of AB and B in 50-50 percentage. It's half and half. If they have four children, there is a possibility. Again, I'm using the word, the word possibility because we don't know which LL is fusing. But there is a possibility that there are equal chances of expressing the blood group AB and B. So now let us solve our case 2. So let me draw a line and let me draw the case 2 over here. 
so what is the case 2 condition we are taking so in the case 2 we are of course taking the condition where father is belonging to blood group b the same example mother is belonging to blood group ab again the same example we are talking but what is the genetic condition here we are talking about so the genetic condition in this case of the father that we are taking i am writing gc over here it is ib and i which is the heterozygous condition what is the condition in the mother mother will not change in the genetic condition it will only be ib and ia and ib now let us explore the possibilities in the case of children what are the possibilities so again if this allele of the father fuses with this allele of the mother we are again getting a combination which is ib and ia i will write down the blood groups all together let us solve the possibilities first if this allele fuses with this of the mother the combination is going to be ib ib again right if this allele fuses with this one what is the combination so the combination is going to be ia and i and if this allele fuses with this the combination is going to be ib and i so what blood groups are we going to see in such a situation so if this is the condition the blood group is definitely going to be ab if this is the condition the blood group is going to be b if this is the condition the blood group is going to be a and if this is the condition the blood group is going to be b again so as you have seen in case 1 we were getting only two possibilities ab and b in the ratio of 50 50 percentage but in this condition what you can see we are getting the blood groups ab b and a also so again as i repeat in all my video if you get a objective question you don't need to solve them but if you get a objective question what are the possibilities in children you are going to get if a father or mother having blood group b and ab marries each other don't go for this case one in objective questions why because this is not going to give you all the possibility so whenever you get an objective question to solve where there is no solution needed but only an answer which is required go for the heterozygous conditions if there is a possibility in mother go for the heterozygous condition in mother also because a heterozygous condition is going to give you the maximum output right so this is the possibility we have seen if a father has blood group b or irrespective anyone has blood group b and ab marries each other this has the possibilities we are going to see in the case of children so i hope you are clear with the video if you have any doubts message me in the comment section box and if you are liking my video do like it share it and subscribe my channel thank you for watching have a great day ahead